days are never ending When the nights are feeling lonely There's a place that I can go Where the birds are free to roam In the sky, flying high Over fields of green and Where the stars inside the sky Where the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on and on Where the stars inside the sky We're the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on and on Hello Scorpio this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 29th of January until the 4th of February 2018. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Two of Pentacles. You may need to find balance between opposing desires and interests in your current relationship. Life will always be uncertain, Yet if you can produce balance and harmony among all the demands upon you, you will ultimately live happily and in prosperity. Thus, the Two of Pentacles serves as a reminder to remain alert, agile and patient as you attempt to juggle your family, your friends, work, finances, health and new challenges. You need to be very clear on your priorities and where you want to invest your time and energy. There is a tendency to be distracted by day-to-day -day affairs and general busyness, so prioritizing your activities and carefully managing your time is essential. The Two of Pentacles brings you back down to earth and reminds you to not only focus on your broader life goals but to also make sure your day-to-day -day affairs are in order. This is a card of good time management and financial management, ensuring that your bills are paid on time, that you keep a record of all your appointments and daily commitments, etc. It may sound tedious having to focus your attention on these more mundane issues but this card reminds you that sometimes getting on top of your daily affairs is as important as pursuing your broader life goals. Sometimes. The Two of Pentacles can indicate that there are problems and difficulties in the future. There may be obstacles erected which hinder the attainment of what you wish to pursue or obtain in life. The situation may cause undue worry and again, you will be required to juggle your priorities and manage your time effectively to stay on top of the situation. Similarly, the Two of Pentacles predicts change. You need to be able to cope with change, remaining flexible and adaptable in your approach. Rather than putting all your eggs in one basket, you may be better to keep two or more things going at once so you have the luxury of choice, should one option fall through. You must stay centered while you stay flexible and keep informed. Look for new possibilities, be open to change and go with the flow as best you can. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Three of Cups. What do you want most right now is to help others, which in turn means that others are open to helping you. It is about spending quality time with your loved ones and your friends. It is a very sociable period. You will find a harmonious balance between meeting your commitments and spending quality time with friends and family. This is a great time to let your hair down and indulge yourself a little. You may be particularly drawn to the bar or restaurant scene, indulging in great food, wine and cocktails. You may also be celebrating something special, such as a birth, engagement, wedding, reunion or birthday. For the moment, even though life's problems go on, you can take time out to forget about the hassles of the everyday world and enjoy the company of your friends and loved ones. Such respites are often needed before and after periods of high stress, to stop you from getting burned out emotionally or physically. 
When this card appears and you are experiencing a high level of stress, take some time off to recuperate, and gain the support of friends before returning to reality. More broadly, the Three of Cups indicates the end or conclusion of any problems you have been experiencing, particularly those that relate to your interactions with others. A compromise will be found which will serve all the interests of those involved and will allow for a more harmonious environment. You can facilitate this process by bringing about positive change within yourself and changing your attitude and the way you react or deal with what is happening. Treat the situation with compassion and give the benefit of the doubt where possible. The Three of Cups represents community and groups of people coming together to focus on a common goal for the greater good of others. You may find that by reaching out to others and banding together, you can achieve a huge amount in terms of sharing your positive energy and passion with others, benefiting the wider community. It is a sign that you should seek out other people to celebrate your successes along with you. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Ace of Wands. You are afraid of moving forward with your goal in life since you're not clear on what it is that you want. This lack of direction may be sapping your energy levels and leaving you feeling incredibly unmotivated and uninspired. As a result, you are often asking yourself if this is what you really want in life and whether there would be something better elsewhere. However, when you think about what other opportunities might appeal, you may struggle to really know what you want. To remedy this, you need to first focus on where your true passions lie. There is no point working towards a goal if you are not motivated or excited about reaching that goal. So. Take some time to contemplate what it is you really aspire to and what you want to achieve out of this situation. You are weighed down by existing responsibilities and commitments and therefore cannot pursue the new ideas that you have. You need to revisit the Ten of Wands and release yourself of some of those burdensome responsibilities so that you can free up your time to pursue your newfound passions. Alternatively, you may take a break from your usual routine in order to allow your new ideas to flourish and grow. The Ace of Wands can indicate frustrating delays are getting in the way of you being able to progress with your projects and ideas. You are likely to feel very impatient at this time, particularly if you are highly action-oriented and you have just started to gain momentum in your activities. You might also be in a position where you have an amazing idea but you have not yet found the right outlet for that idea. Again, you are beginning to become increasingly impatient that you have not been able to manifest that idea just yet but perhaps that is for the best. Timing is essential, so be patient and wait for the best opportunity. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is. The King of Cups. You are emotionally balanced and control. You have a very deep understanding of your feelings and emotions, and are able to connect with this when necessary. As you deal with some of the scenarios that life throws at you, draw on this deep emotional maturity to help you navigate these challenges. Also, Know that this is an incredible gift you have and be open to sharing your emotional stability and calm approach with others. If you are facing challenges, then the King of Cups is an indication that you must create balance in the realm of the emotions. The King of Cups represents compassion, one of the most powerful and beautiful qualities of the human spirit. Ask yourself. How can I develop a stronger awareness of the unconscious without being overwhelmed by its power? How can I develop a stronger sense of compassion without falling into the trap of sentimentality? The King of Cups encourages you to be considerate in your dealings with others and as you counsel others. You may need to understand why strong feelings have surfaced and how to best cope with them. It is important that you do not repress emotions but instead explore them with an open heart and an open mind. Sometimes, 
the King of Cups can represent an older male who may appear in your life. This card represents a man of business, law or divinity, who is kind, considerate and willing to take responsibility for his actions. He is paternalistic but in a sensitive, generous manner, and he enjoys the quiet power associated with providing loving energy to others. He is able to listen mindfully to others and he responds calmly in a crisis. He uses diplomacy rather than force, and reached out to help, not to stifle or have it only his way. Similarly, the King of Cups shows you generosity, graciousness, love, calmness, caring and will give you his healing ways. He has power in the business world and loves law and order. You would love him to be your doctor. If there were a crisis at hand, this is someone you would hope to have near. The King of Cups is highly diplomatic and politically correct. He has a real talent at being able to balance the needs of many people and keeps everyone working together harmoniously and productively. He knows how to show care and sensitivity as he leads others towards a common goal. He responds carefully to others' emotional needs and can diffuse a tense situation by reading and responding to the different people involved. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the Page of Swords. You are acting hastily, without thinking things through properly. You have a lot of energy behind you to get things moving but the way you are going about it is not an effective use of your energy. Tackle things one at a time, rather than trying to deal with everything at once. This will lead to more meaningful outcomes. You might be all talk and no action. You have to be very careful of making promises that you know you cannot keep, or saying things that you may later regret. Before making a specific promise or commitment, ensure that you can and will deliver on it in order to maintain your integrity and reputation. Also, be wary of other people's commitments to you and put in place measures to ensure that they will deliver on what they promise to deliver. You may be trying to impress yourself with big stories about your past and your achievements that are not true. You are also beginning to annoy others by your constant questioning and challenging of ideas. While you may simply be trying to understand a situation or a concept better, there are more constructive and non-threatening ways to go about it. Use sentences such as, help me understand. Be conscious of how you may be coming across to others when you are constantly asking, why? and only challenge or question those ideas that are really important to you, rather than challenging everything that is presented. Finally, you may be anxious that you do not have sufficient experience or knowledge to present on a particular topic, or you may be afraid of being the center of attention. Know that people simply want to hear your point of view, even if it is different from others. The last card for you is representing the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is the Ten of Cups. This card is indicative of a harmonious and loving family life. All family members are getting along with each other and there is a lot of happiness and love shared. No one is fighting or causing any tension. Instead, it is an environment of peace and happiness that lends itself to warm and loving relations. The presence of the Ten of Cups may even reflect an upcoming family holiday where you can rest and relax together, creating fun and happy family memories. There may be a family reunion or a family celebration where members of your extended family come together. This is a wonderful time to bond with your family and lay the foundation for a happy and harmonious future together. The Ten of Cups is also a very positive card in terms of romantic relationships and may indicate either the beginning of a new, very happy relationship, or the ultimate satisfaction of a long-term relationship. Commitment and love are the requirements of such satisfaction, yet this card promises that with the required effort a lasting love can be built. 
The time will also be made for the enjoyment of pleasures, which may be shared with another person whom you love. Outside of relationships and the family, the Ten of Cups is also reflective of your personal values system and what you believe will bring you the ultimate fulfillment and happiness in your life. This card represents a time when you are very clear on where your personal beliefs and values lie and you have successfully created a life that is aligned to those values. It may reflect a spiritual or religious person who lives in peace and harmony. It may also reflect strong family values that were instilled within you early in life which are now helping you to create a fulfilling lifestyle. The Ten of Cups encourages you to follow your heart and go with your intuition about where the best opportunities lie. As an intuitive person, you know that you can trust your gut feeling to guide you. When you feel truly happy and inspired about something, you know that that is the way to go. Aim to seek out opportunities that make you feel fulfilled and that are aligned with your personal values rather than simply following the path that others expect you to take. You have to do what feels right to you and you only. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the truth. Truth in word and deed is what is required of you by drawing this marker. As well as resonating with your own personal truth, it's important now to also demand the same from others. In every person there's a vibrational energy that's accessible by slowing down and searching within to inquire, is this real? Am I hearing truth from another, or is it a lie? Am I speaking honestly myself, or am I lying to manipulate circumstances to get what I want? Remember, even a white lie will cause your light to fade and lose power. A lie takes you down into the lower vibrations of the ego world, ruled by separation and limitation, and its seduction of the lower world and serves no one but the forces of darkness. This marker reminds you to remain in the light, even if it seems like a more difficult path. Truth will build a bridge across a chasm. Truth will lend a magic wand of strength and integrity. Truth is freedom. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.